Hey guys, uh, welcome to part 2. This is the second monitor that I'm showing you now. Uh, some of the things you probably haven't seen before. I'm going to show you today uh, some customizing, uh, well, various things really, but I'm going to start with my desktop gadgets. Uh, as you can see, I think I've got eight of them here. Uh, if you download gadgets.zip from tweedu.co.nr and extract it, I'm not going to, but you've got all of the installs there for what I have here. I'm just going to go for a quick run through of what I've got. Uh, I've got a mouse meter, that's just something you know quite cool. How many clicks you've done, how far you've traveled with your mouse and whatever. Um, clipboard manager, this is awesome if uh, you can, you know, just select whatever. Okay, let's say that, copy that, something else, copy that. See that it just it basically logs your uh, copy history, and you can select whichever one you want from as far back as as far back as uh, as, as you as you had it installed. Um, Another thing that I've got is uptime. I've currently had it up for 41 minutes. That's just you know something cool, or whatever. Uh, that is just a random clock which I have. That's currently time is over in America. This is my network meter. I prefer to use this over some rain meter ones because they're generally slightly less reliable I, I, with what I'm using. Uh, this is very simple to set up. Um, wireless or wired network, and just yeah, basically choose whichever you. Um, whatever you want on that uh, to-do list. This is I, I use this. I've got my little uh, list of things to do on there. Uh, hence the name to-do list. And here is Twitter, or what I use to look at my Twitter. This is uh, tweets, which is very useful indeed. Uh, you can customize the height, size of it. Um, all this I haven't actually done for some unknown reason. Anyway. That is how I like it. Yay, that's good. I'm going to update later, not now. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, there's Digsby. Yeah, Digsby is awesome. Digsby is basically combining loads of IMs into one. Let's, okay, let's hold on, let's have a look. Uh, my accounts. Okay, so I've got MSN and AIM there. If I want to add account, I can add any of these here. And everything is in this one package. I can talk to people on MSN or AIM. Um, one thing you want to know, uh, when I, sorry, you want to just check is when you install it, it's going to have loads of, um, it has loads of sort of sneaky little things to say, like, do you want to advertise Digsby in your IMs or something? Just don't click it whilst you install. And also, if you go into, uh, I'm trying to remember how to go there, I think it's preferences. And look down somewhere in here. There you go. Promote Digsby and IM messages. That's default to tick. So you want to probably undo that. Uh, loads of other cool stuff you can do with it. So just mess around with it. But I, this is this is so useful. Um, I wouldn't do that. This it's got everything everything in one. Uh, radio player. I like to listen to radio. It's got preset ones. Whatever you can add custom stations as well. That's really quite cool. Uh, what else can I show you? Just get rid of that. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah. Um, I'm going to show you Display Fusion now. Actually, uh, if you download Display Fusion here and install it, you can see everything there to uh, need to install. Uh, it's on the left monitor, so I'm just going to open it up and drag it over. Once you've installed it, that's wrong. Once you've installed it, you just want to open it. There you go. Uh, this is really good for setting up two uh, wallpapers on two monitors, for example, um, or yeah, or, or uh, you can use it to um, change. Sorry, yeah, as you can see, I've got one use one image at a time. If I click and randomly change images from computer, add folder, go to wherever desktop backgrounds, boxman. Okay, interval is going to be five minutes, so that's good. And click apply. It will now change the background image every five minutes. Uh, this is really good if you just want a slideshow um, background. It's got a lot more customization, uh, and of course you can span an image across two monitors if you have two, of course. Anyway, so that's it for that. I'm gonna have to go over to the other monitor. So I'll catch you in a sec. Okay, back on the uh, first monitor again now. Uh, if you download the customize uh, from, say, the first video, uh, you will open it and you'll notice it's got Raymeter and two others. Um, one of them, I start with Rocket Dock actually. Uh, Rocket Dock is basically this thing at the top here. Uh, it's a little sort of loader bar, or whatever. It's got all your links in that you need. Um, as you can see, I've got a variety of stuff up here which I just click on to uh, launch. What you want to do is go to, uh, well, actually look in the description and download Rocket Dock first of all. 
Uh, once you have done that, open up Rocket Dock, copy Unique Board, and as you can see, it's got all the stuff in here, which is what I've uh, got at the top here. Uh, you then want to go to um, my computer, I think. This could be the wrong way. Program Files, Rocket Dock, uh, Skins. There we go. Yeah, and then just paste it right in there. Uh, as you see, I've already got it. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Then what you want to do is go up to the top here. Oops. Right click on it. Go to Dock Settings. Theme, you want to change it to Unique Board. And that is what I have going right there. Uh, loads of customizable options in here again. Fonts, shadow colors, whatever. Um, icons, all this, all this rubbish. I uh, put it on auto hide. Personally, I have it a thousand and two ninety. Apparently, um, just yeah, mess around with it till you find something that you like. Uh, it doesn't have to be at the top. It can be bottom, on the left, or on the right. Shockingly, uh, yeah. As I said, just mess about with it. It's a really cool um, thing to be having going. One thing that I would suggest to do is right click on here and click on lock items otherwise you tend to sort of delete them from the list which is not good uh, but yeah that's about it uh, I will go on and show oh yeah um, you might notice that my toolbar is auto hiding uh, just a quick tip on how to do that you want to go to properties if you right click on it and basically click auto hide taskbar also whilst you're in here there's loads of other sort of customizable things you can change, uh, for example, if you go to start menu and then customize, you can change what's displayed as a menu, as a link, what you've got on your uh, start menu. As you can see, I've got downloads there and I've lost a few things as well, which I can't even remember. Um, just yeah, change it around to however you fancy, mess around with it. And I hope that's useful. Right, close that. Uh, last but not least, if you go back into the customize folder, open up Start Orb Changer, you'll click on um, Start Button Changer. And as you notice, my start button here is kind of weird. Um, very simple program. Does it just the just the ticket? Uh, restore the original backup. That just sets it to the default one. If you click on that one, uh, you can see I've loaded ten sample orbs there. And oh, I don't know whatever you want. Let's load that one. And as you can see, yeah. Click on it. Tongue comes out. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, I don't like that one actually. Let's try that one. Me, yeah, it's all right. Um, yeah, just mess around with it till you find something you like. If you want to download some more, let's go to. You want to go to divineart.com, which I have here. Uh, Go to uh, customization, skins and themes, system monitoring, rain meter. Link will be in the description, don't worry about it. Uh, actually, no, sorry, that's complete bollocks. Ignore me. Oh, shit, that was that was shite. Right, just type in um, start orb. There you go. And you should have, if it searches, you should have loads of uh, ones you can download and use to till, uh, till your heart's content. Find one that you like and. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, links are in the description. Everything's there. Please uh, thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you hopefully soon with another tute.